Today, 343 released a brand new update for Halo The Master Chief Collection, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the new features and new items that you can unlock. But without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Now, first of all, let's cover the most controversial thing in this update, and that is the brand new armors. There are quite a few sets available, and they are all in Halo 2 Anniversary, which makes me pretty happy. I'm glad to see this game is finally getting some content, even if it's not new maps, some new cosmetics. For me, that's enough for now. We have a pretty large variety of different stuff here. We have some that look like they're straight out of Gyver or Doom. There's some more tactical Mark VI helmets. Literally just the Mark VI with some different attachments. So if you do want some more serious armor, you've still got those options. And then we have a bunch that look like they could be from Gundam or Transformers or Power Rangers. Take your pick. Some of these are absolutely insane. I kind of like the Trooper Sea-Wing one, it's the most looking like a normal Halo helmet while still having some of these like sort of weird details, like it's almost like it's got a duck on its head, but I really like the way it looks. I mean to be fair, I like the way a lot of these look, they're super unique, and yeah sure they're not necessarily lore friendly, but it's cool to see some pretty unique armors. Everyone at the minute when you play a game of Halo 2 Anniversary usually looks pretty similar, so it's nice that people will finally have some variety. Whether or not they look like they fit into canon or not, it doesn't really make a difference. You're still going to fight everyone exactly the same. The gameplay is going to be absolutely no different. You'll just have a better understanding of who's who. Of course, there's not just helmets. We do have new chess pieces and stuff like that. And again, a lot of these look great. I don't really have any complaints. And the tactical Mark VI ones look phenomenal. You can make a really tanky Spartan now. Of course, there's also new shoulder pads, forearms and leg pieces to go with these new sets. But those aren't the only new cosmetics available in Halo 2 Anniversary because we now have weapon skins. For five of the weapons, we have four different skins, being the Black Tiger, Blood Scorched, Chroma Blue, and Sandstorm. My personal favourite out of these is probably Black Tiger. It's the most basic, funnily enough, but I just think it looks the best. But none of them are bad. I think they're all pretty cool, and I can definitely see players using this. You can get it for the Battle Rifle, the Sniper Rifle, the Shotgun, the Rocket Launcher, and the Assault Rifle. On the topic of cosmetics, pretty much every single game Bar Halo 3 ODST now allows players to unlock stances or Spartan poses. These actually are just for your Spartan, you can also use them for your Elite too if you prefer playing as the Elite. There's quite a few of these here, some of them being more wacky and some of them being quite serious. There's a few that are from Infinite, a few of the iconic Master Chief stances like the Zeta Horizon one, and they look pretty cool. I mean, I love this one specifically on Halo Reach. The rifle salute stance with the Elite just looks hilarious. I mean, he looks so proud of himself here. Every single one of these items will be coming to the exchange. Now, I'm assuming one of the new sets will be added as like a big armor bundle. The first set that's coming to the exchange will be the Bioroid one, it will be coming next week, and it looks awesome. It's just a shame we've got to wait a week to be able to actually start unlocking some of this new gear. The game's also had some UI changes, you'll notice that pretty much straight away, as soon as you press the start button, the way everything is laid out is a bit different now, it's gone for a much more cleaner, more simplistic look. I don't know if I necessarily prefer this, but it definitely makes it easier to navigate. The final major new thing that I do want to talk about is the Arachnophobia Skull being in Halo Reach. If you haven't seen this skull before, it's been added to a few of the games on Master Chief Collection, it essentially lets you fly, so now you can just speedrun the entirety of Halo Reach and just fly across every single level, unless you hit a wall or invisible hitbox. Overall, it's a pretty solid update. I'm very excited to unlock some of this new armor for Halo 2 Anniversary and excited to see some people using it in game. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like this new armor? Do you like that we have weapon skins in Halo 2 Anniversary? What are your favorite sets? I'm curious to hear what you all have to say. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.